Welcome to part five of our series on learning to code in Delphi. And before we get to any more code, we're just going to learn three different components that we're going to be needing in our next program. So let's just look at what a label is, what an edit box is, and what a spin edit is. So first of all, the label component. The label component is if you want to put text on your form. So you want to display some nice label there. So you use the label component. Now, remember, we use the different properties that we need to change and we want to change the name property and we use a LBL prefix normally for our labels. Remember we said we ideally want to use little prefixes so we know what type of component it is that we're dealing with. So if I wanted to say this is the one that they're going to enter their name so they're not going to actually enter the name in the label but the, we just put in the text there then we can say LBL name. Okay, so the caption property is the property that is, is shows what is actually on this, the actual form. That's a text that is visible. So remember the difference. The name is what we use in the code and the caption is what is actually shown to the user. Now the edit box or the t-edit is a little box which you can use to type stuff into it. It allows the user to input in values and we can get it later on using code which we can do in the next video. So First of all, we want that's when you want to get text from a user. That's ideally what you want to use. You can use it to display information. Some people do use it to display uh, data, uh, but ideally you want to use it to get information from the user. So let's think of the properties. The properties, obviously, we're going to use the prefix edt, so we know that it's an edit box. So that would be edt name. So that way we can tell the difference between the edit box that wants to get the, the value from the user and the label from the previous example where we had lbl name. And now the thing is there is no caption property with the edit box. So how do we how do we change what is displayed to the user? Well, that is the text property. The text property is what is actually inside the edit box. There is no caption. So the text property will be whatever is currently in that edit box. Then we get the spin edit. Now the spin edit is quite a funky little feature, ideally for numbers. When you want to get a number, you can use those arrows to make it go up or down depending on the number. So ideally if you want an integer value. Now just take note that this is not on the standard uh, tool palette. You've got to go all the way down to the sample palette to go find the T spin edit. Okay, so now what are the properties? Well, the name, we want to change the name to SED, so it's a spin edit prefix. Some people use SPN, but a lot of places use SED as the prefix. So if we want to get the age of the person, we can say SED age. Now, the, the actual number inside is in a property called value. That is how you can change what is inside the spin edit by changing the value property. That'll be there. The other, other nice properties with the spin edit is there's a min and a max value, which you can actually set to particular numbers so that you can limit the range of possible numbers that the user can click on. So if you only want a number between 1 and 10, you can set the min value to 1 and the max value to 10. Now, there are other properties that these components all have. A lot of components have the following properties, and they all have the following in common. So let's talk about them. So the first property we're going to talk about is the width or the height. That determines the size of the component. Obviously, those are numbers, so you can change how wide it is or how high the component is. Then you get the top and the left property. In our previous video, we spoke about its position on the screen. So the top property determines how up or down it is, and the left property determines how left or right it is on the form. Go look at our previous video to, to explain what the numbers mean when it comes to the top or the left property. Then you get the font property, which determines what type of font is uh, is being displayed on, to the user. Um, now there are sub properties for that. You get the size and the color and the name of the font. For example, if you want Arial or Times New Roman, so those are the different properties for the font. Then the visible property, we've experienced this one already when we used SHP tongue in the previous videos. SHP tongue.visible was set to true, then we could see the tongue, and false means it's invisible. So there's a visible property for that. 
And then there's a hint property, which is displayed when the mouse is over the component. So if you want a little text box to appear above it, you say this is a little hint about what you, what this little button must do or what this, this edit box is about. You can use the hint property. Now the hint property, um, there is a show hint property that must be set to true if you want the hint to be seen. So you will write the text in the hint property and then you must set show hint to true in order for that little box to pop up. So here we've got our Delphi form and if I come here to standard and I go down here, you'll see there is a label. So if I can click on the label and I can click it on the form and then I can give my label a nice name. So we'll call this LBL name and then I can go to the caption property over here and say, please enter your name here. Colon. So that's just the text that is displayed. So it's still called LBL name, but the caption is obviously different um, as we said earlier there are other properties for example like the top and the uh, width and all that and there if you remember there was a hint property and that will only be executed if we give it a particular show hint if we set that to true which we'll do with maybe with the edit box or something okay so there we go so that's a, a label now you can just click on a label and, and uh, right click and we're going to go copy it and if I paste it now It'll put another label on exactly like the other one, except for the name will be different. So I'm going to go and change this one's name to LBL, LBL age. And I don't want that particular text. So I'm going to change this caption of this button to please enter your, a, your age here. Because that would be a number. So there we go. So there we've got two little labels. Now let's come over here, put an edit box. There's the edit box, which is a little box where you can type in stuff. So there we go, I put the edit box. Now, do you see when I move it around, it helps me with those purple lines and all those other lines to align them up quite nicely. So make sure that it's nice and neat. And so that's called edit one. I'm gonna click on it and change its name to EDT name so that it's different. So we've got LBL name and EDT name. Now, I don't like what's inside there. Now, ideally you would want to leave it blank. So I'm going to come all the way down here to the caption property and you'll see there is no caption property, no caption property whatsoever because the edit box has a text property. So if I click on the text property, I'm going to delete it so that it's blank so that they can actually just type in what they want to type in there. So that's the edit control. Now to get to the spin edit, now there is no spin edit there. So you've got to go all the way, if I minimize that, all the way down to sample which is near the bottom, the examples. If I click on that one, if I click, expand that a little bit, there we go, I've got all the samples. There's the spin edit, another spin button, the spin edit. So there it is. If you can't find it, another little trick you can do is you can click over here and you can search for it. So if I type spin edit, there we go, it found it under sample. So you can do that as well. So let's click on spin edit, put it over here. And there you can see it all zero and it's got a little up and down little markers. And we're gonna give it the name SED age and I'm going to give it a default value of let's go down to value let's go a default value of 25 so that's the default age now if I don't want anyone under 18 to be able to enter their name in there so I can come down I'm on the form sorry click on the, the spin edit let's change the product there's the min and the max so I can make the min value 18 and I can make the max value let's make it a hundred for example so therefore they can only select those type of options so let's let's just click if you select everything you can drag your mouse over everything and it will give you only the properties that are common for all of them and remember we said font was one of them so I can click on font you can click on the ellipse or you can click on the little arrow to get all the options. So those are your things. You can change the size and the pitch. Um, you can, there's the size. You can say what type of font you want. You don't want to Homer. You want something else. So you got all these little options here. So let's go make it Arial. There's Arial. And we want to make this the size maybe a 10. And you can do those type of things. You can change the color. And by doing that, you've made them all just a little bit bigger. And so we just make them a little... Just, Let's move them around a little bit and then let's do that show hint one let's go to the edt name i'm going to come here to hint and i'm going to say your name your full name your full name there we go so your full name is the hint now that will do nothing unless we select show hint and make sure that it's true 
Okay, so those are the little things that you can do when designing your form. So let's say, for example, if I'm going to run it, let's just see what it looks like. So there we go, my program is running. Now if I move my mouse over, you see your full name appears there. So that's the show hint, which only comes up if you click show hint to be true. And then the age, if you remember, we can't go below 18. If I keep clicking, it won't let me go below 18. And it won't let me type in a number of like 190. It'll go, uh, no, 100 is the max. So those are little things that you can do with your spin edits, your labels, and your edit controls. Last little thing is that your, your form also has a caption property. If I move up here to the form, you see the form selected. If I change the caption property here, my second program, that will appear in the blue bar at the top. So that's how you can change that little part over there. So those are some new components that we've learned. We're going to be using them in the next uh, video when we're actually going to work with uh, the values that the user inputs. All the videos in this video series are available on our YouTube channel. Click on that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, go to the playlist and you'll find all the topics there. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Longway.